folk singers and artists used to wander from village to village narrating stories of Hindu mythology to the village people. But with course of time, the process of telling tales transformed into canvas painting and that's when Kalamkari art first saw the light of day. It is hand painting done on cotton or silk fabric with a tamarind pen using natural dyes. The word Kalamkari is derived from a Persian word where Kalam means pen and Kari refers to craftsmanship. There are two distinctive styles of Kalamkari art in India, Shrikala Hasti style and the Machli Patnam style. The Shrikala Hasti style of Kalamkari wherein the Kalam or pen is used for freehand drawing of the subject like scenes from the Mahabharata or temples. Filling in the colours is entirely hand worked. Machli Patnam style of Kalamkari work involves vegetable dyed block printing of a fabric and it evolved during the Mughal period. Pure cotton and chanderi are the most popular fabrics used in Shri Kalahasti. They are soaked in water for a day to remove the starch. The cloth is bleached with a solution of Myra Bolum seed paste, water and buffalo milk for one and a half hours. This is dried in the sun. Tamarind twigs are burnt and covered with sand to make the coal for initial sketches on the cloth. These twigs are sturdy and don't break. The outlines on the fabric are drawn using the Kalamkari pen made of bamboo. One end is sharpened. Cotton cloth and sponge is attached to the stick with a thread so that the sponge absorbs maximum colour. Black colour called Kasim Karam is prepared using jaggery, iron filings and alum. The solution is kept for 15 days before using it. The solution reacts with the tamarind used in the Mairabalum treated cloth and makes the drawing black as it dries. Alum used as a mordant along with karakapu is applied all over where we want colours like red or maroon. It is left to dry for 24 hours. Then it is washed in the river to wash the extra alum and then dried in the sun. Red colour dyeing is done in by adding Chavala kudi in boiling water. Other colours like green is got through Shurudu Chakka. Alum will retain the colours and the rest wears out when dried on a sand floor under the sun. The fabric is again soaked in pure milk and dried. Milk acts as wax which prevents colour from spreading on the fabric when the colours are applied later on. Now the other colouring filling process starts. On a single cloth, up to 10 artisans take separate spaces to fill colours in different areas. Karakapu and water is mixed together to form a solution. The solution is used after 5 to 6 days so that it gets thick and becomes easy to apply. The areas which are to be filled in red or maroon are first painted and then left to dry under diffuse sunlight for 1 or 2 days until the fabric absorbs the colour completely. The fabric is then painted with vibrant colours like indigo yellow using Kalamkari pen. The colours used are natural and organic like indigo leaves, pomegranate peels etc. Cloth is then dried well under direct sunlight and boiled in water with temperatures of around 80 to 100 degrees Celsius. Lastly, it is dried. Kalamkari painting on sarees can take up to 50 days to complete depending on the design and pattern. Every master Kalamkari artist have their own style and creativity to implement various styles of design and motifs.